In this video, we'll create the axle peg for your miniature train project, and we're going to do it in a few different steps. So we'll start by creating the head of the axle peg, kind of using a revolve and an extrude, and then we'll create the socket, create the shaft, thread it, and then finally we'll add in the uh, chamfer on the end. So we'll go up to File, New Design, and then I'll create a sketch on the front plane. Okay, so if we look at our drawing for this, uh, it has a diameter of 0.422 uh, for the head of the screw. So we're going to start with that. So go up to circle, create a circle that has a diameter of 0.422. And then we'll finish that sketch. And then we are going to extrude this. And if we check our drawing, that is extruded. So we're going to create this little lip right here first, and that is extruded. 0 0.031. Okay, and we'll create the uh, head on the screw on this part and then extend the shaft out this way. So for the head, you'll notice that it gives us the spherical radius as 0.236 right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the revolve to create kind of a profile right here and revolve it around this direction. In order to do that, we need a, a plane that's kind of cutting it this way. So I'm going to go under Origins and find the right plane. I think the YZ is going to work. So I'm going to click the YZ plane and then click Construct under uh, for Offset Plane. And then I'll click OK. And then I'll click this plane and then we'll create a sketch on it. OK, and I'm going to kind of turn this a little bit so it's up and down. So for this, I'm going to go to create and then uh, project. And I'm just going to grab a couple of things. So I'll get this line right here on the very bottom. And then I'm going to get the, the line on the top as well. And then I'll click OK. All right, so if we go to this, um, basically what we can see is from the very bottom of the lip that we initially made to the top of the screw, it is 0.125. So let's go ahead and start with that line. So I'll make a line from the middle here, from the bottom line up 0.125. And then you'll notice that there's kind of a flat part of the screw right here, which is given with uh, this circle, which has a diameter of 0.25. Uh, we just drew a line at the middle though, so we're gonna cut that in half. So that's gonna be 0.125. We're gonna draw a line uh, showing that that's gonna be flat. Okay, so I'll go the line tool, and then I'll go from here out. That's gonna be 0.125. So this is going to be the flat part of that. And now we need to add the curved part right here. And we'll use the arc tool. Go to the three-point arc. And I'm going to click this point, then this one. And then I'm just going to place it roughly what I think it's going to be. So it's going to be something like that. And then we will add uh, a dimension to it. So I'll go to sketch dimension, click this. And then that radius needs to be... 0.236. Okay. And then uh, I think we're done with that. So uh, we'll click finish sketch and then we'll go to revolve. It's automatically selecting our profile. All we got to do is just click on the center line right here. That's going to make the head of the screw. We'll click OK. Let's go ahead and add the uh, socket right here. So I'll click this face, click create sketch, and then I'll go to create polygon, circumscribe polygon, click on the origin, roughly just draw it where it needs to be, and go to our drawing here. So the dimension for the hexagon, you can see it says that it's 532 inches across flat, so across from one line across to the other is uh, 532s, so we're going to go to dimension, click here and here, and make that 530 seconds. And then I'll go to the horizontal vertical tool and then click on that top line. 
to make sure that one's perfectly vertical. Finish that. And then if we go back to the drawing, that's going to tell us to, to extrude it down 0.111. Go to extrude, click this. And that's going to be negative 0.111. Press enter. Okay, and then we'll flip it to the back and we'll add the shaft on next. So I'll click create sketch. And then we'll add in a circle. Let me check the dimension for that. So the dimension for it, for the shaft, is given with the whole uh, note right here, or the thread note, I'm sorry. And that is going to be a quarter of an inch, so it's going to be 0.25. Okay, and we'll click Finish Sketch, and we'll extrude this out. So you'll notice with the... The thread note here, it tells us that this is one inch long, but that's just the thread part right here. That thread part is only one inch. It also says it has a quarter inch offset. So that means this part of the screw is a quarter of an inch and the remaining part is one inch. So that means we're gonna extrude it out a total distance of one and a quarter, or 1.25. And we'll click okay. All right. Uh, now to get the threads on there, I'm going to click on the cylinder where the threads are going to go and I'll go to create and then we're going to go down to the thread tool. And it might automatically select the correct thread type, which is a quarter uh, dash 20 UNC. Uh, you're not going to check full length though because it does not go the whole way. There's going to be a little bit of an offset. So uh, to do this, uh, what you want to do is make sure that the length is equal to one inch. Notice it's starting from down here at the very bottom and going this way. So we want to just change this from 0.394 to 1. And we're not going to leave anything for the offset, even though our, our note said that there was an offset. The offset was actually from here, but you'll notice when we're making it, it's making the threads from this side, and there is no offset from this side. So. We're just going to leave that at zero because it looks like there already is a quarter of an inch gap right here. All right, so we'll click OK. And then lastly, we just need to add a chamfer on this end. I'm just going to check the dimension. So it just needs to be 0 0.03. So we'll go to Modify, Chamfer, click this end, and type in 0 0.03. All right, and that is how you create your axle peg.